Whenever I'm looking at really cool Chinese mountain landscapes, I see pointy rocks and lots of cool mist. Many Chinese artists use long pieces of paper and only black ink for their art. I noticed that this picture has light mountains in back and darker things up close. Today you get to try a long Chinese landscape too. First, you'll get your bamboo brush wet and you need to get some water in your palette so that you can make a light, light gray. I'm getting ink from my brush and mixing it into the water. Check it out when you put it on your paper. Starting at the top part, I'm dabbing light watery gray to make a far away misty mountain. I left a little space to make a waterfall back there. You can do that too, or you can just make it a tree filled mountain with lots of touches. I even added some streaks for water. Next, we need to go a little darker. I'm touching my brush into my ink again and then making that pool a little bit darker gray. I'm gonna come from the other side, dabbing and making tree rocky shapes with this medium gray ink. So now there is a far away, and there's some mist, and then a medium close mountain. Again, I can make a waterfall or not make a waterfall. I can even add some trees on top. And just dabbing my brush down makes it look like it's turning back into mist. Now, I'm dipping that brush in the ink once more and adding even more black into the water. And I'm gonna come back over to the left side and come in from the left. And because this mountain is closest, we might see some individual tree shapes. And look at how my brush can do that for me. Little brush trees. I can use the tip of my brush to make little houses. Remember, the tip of a bamboo brush can get very thin and add lots of little detail. The trees come closer and further and further down. And I added an oval so that I can have a lake down in front. Two little banana shapes with the tip of my brush make two adorable little boats. And I can just make little marks that look like people are inside. I'm going to keep using this dark color to add more people on the shore. You can add people or buildings or just trees, whatever you like for your landscape. Maybe there's a waterfall. As you get closer, you can fill in more trees and you can start them larger and larger. Thinking of like a leaf shape or a teardrop shape. At the very bottom of your paper is the largest trees of all. They're down in front and we can just see the tops. You can add more touches of paintbrush to add more trees as you go. And any place you have room, think of another detail. Is there a path? Is there more people? Is there more buildings? And there you have it.